Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of CSCART Vendor Badges Add-on. Now this impressive add-on allows the admin to assign badges automatically to different vendors according to the condition that has been set by the admin from the backend panel. Apart from that, the admin can assign the badges manually as well to the marketplace vendors there. The assigned badges can be viewed at the front end so that the buyers can know about the accomplishments of the sellers there. Now this add-on comes handy with an additional feature of banner management at the vendor end where the vendors can easily add the desired banners on the store as well. Now kindly note that this particular add-on is well integrated with the CS Cart and CS Cart multi-vendor. It has a functionality to add numerous badges at the admin end, auto assignment of badges to the vendors as per the condition set by the admin option to allocate multiple badges to a single vendor same badge can be assigned to multiple vendors as well the admin can add remove assign delete the assigned badges manually from the admin backend panel as per the requirement there now these badges that have been assigned by the admin to the uh, different vendors are visible on the product page as you can see right now we are on the product page at the CS card storefront and here uh, on the right hand side for this particular uh, product uh, for the vendor the vendor badges are visible here under the vendor badges as you can see and this particular vendor has two different badges one is the top product and one is the best seller one apart from uh, the uh, vendor badges being visible on the product page the vendor badges are also visible on the vendor store page and the vendor listing page as well so this is the vendor store page and here you can see that uh, we have the vendor badges on the right hand side on the vendor store uh, page. This is the uh, vendor listing page here we have different vendors as you can see uh, Webcool Store 1 and Webcool Store 2 and both of these are having their own badges being visible on the right hand side uh, or there on the vendor listing page as well. Now in today's video tutorial I'll be taking you through the workflow of this particular plugin at the uh, admins end and I'll be showing you how the admin would be able to create the different uh, what we say as the badges from the admin backend panel and how he'll be able to assign the same to the vendors automatically and manually and how the vendors would be able to create the banners for their own self and how they can set up a redirect URL for their banners as well but before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up so right now I've shown you that uh, the vendor badges are visible on the product page on the vendor store page uh, and on the vendor listing page as well as you can see here on the right hand side uh, the badges are visible there now let's hop on to the admin backend panel so i'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the email password and tapping on the sign in button now first of all let's see the initial configuration settings for this plugin so for that we'll go to add-ons and manage add-ons here i'll be searching for badges so here we are having the particular add-on that you have already installed that's the vendor badges uh, when a vendor banners and badges and it allow, allows you to assign badges to vendors on the basis of their performance so here you have to tap on the settings option now under the settings we have two different options one is the general and one is the mail templating under the general you can set up the vendor badges so here you can select multiple if you want to assign multiple badges to a vendor vendor and if you choose single the latest assigned badge will be visible on the front end so if you want to go with multiple you can choose multiple vendor badges otherwise if you want to apply the badges to a single one then you can choose the single one here then we have the sales period so here you have to set the sales period basis of which the sales amount condition will be applied the sales amount which lie in this particular period will be considered for the badge auto assignment there so here you have to set the sales period uh, the start date and the end date of, for the sales period there then coming to the mail template here you can set up the mail uh, subject basically and here you can set up the mail text as you can see and uh, uh, basically what happens is that from here you can uh, set up to notify a vendor when a new badge is assigned to him uh, you can make use of these uh, uh, codes here that you can see like the badge name assign time vendor name in the mail templates for example we have hello vendor name and new badge has been uh, badge name has been assigned to add time 
uh, to you as per your uh, performance there uh, for example so from here you can set up them and uh, from here you can preview the particular one as well by tapping on the preview button and you can see that hello vendor name and new badge badge name has been assigned at at time as per your performance and thanks so this particular mail will be sent out to the particular vendors when a new badge is assigned to them so this is the initial configuration settings now let me cancel that out now uh, as an admin how we'll be able to view the badges create the badges and assign the badges manually and automatically so i'll be showing you that as well so the very first thing that we need to do is we need to navigate to vendors and vendor badges here we can set up the badges by going to the badges list this would basically list up the complete list of badges that we have already created uh, you can basically make the status of any of the badges as active or disabled you can edit or delete any of the badges from this particular section and uh, to add a particular badge you can tap here on the add vendor badge so for example if I want to delete a one I can select that one and I can delete it up and the particular badge would be deleted as you have seen just right now now to add a new badge uh, let's go ahead and let's add a badge and i'll be assigning one uh, random a random image for the same for the demo purposes there so to add a vendor badge i'll tap on the add vendor badge here uh, we have to set up the badge information so for example uh, let me set it as test badge i'll set the status as active we'll set the badge priority uh, the total vendors to whom this badge can be assigned if I set it as one then only to one uh, Vendor this particular badge can be assigned if I set it as five Then this particular badge would be able to be assigned to five vendors there we can set up the description of the badge for example, this is a, a test badge Then you have to add an image. Let's add an image for the badge uh, so I'll just choose it from the local server there. So I'll be selecting one random image uh, for the same For this uh, demo purpose there. So I'll just choose this watch image for the time 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 being and uh, For the badge if I want I can also set up a redirect URL uh, If I want I can go ahead and I can add a redirect URL after setting this up then we can go to manually assign section so from here we can assign this particular badge to a particular uh, vendor there by choosing add vendor and we can select the vendor and we can tap here on the end vendor and close so from here you can assign it manually to a vendor as well uh, and uh, you can also remove it as per your own requirement there then coming to the conditions here you can set up the uh, vendor badge conditions if you want to auto enable the badge there so that the badge is automatically assigned to a particular vendor there then you have to choose the auto enabled as check and then you have to set up the condition for example number of orders equals to uh, 5 then this particular uh, vendor badge should be assigned to a particular vendor automatically right so from here you can create the conditions uh, depending upon the number of products sale amount number of vendor review number of vendor product reviews as per your own requirement and you can choose the criteria as per your requirement and you can set the value for the same so you have to set up the vendor badge information the basic badge information uh, you can assign the badge manually as well or you can set up the condition according to which the auto enable or auto assignment of the badge would be done to the particular vendors and then you have to tap here on the create button at the top right hand corner and this would create the badge as you have seen uh, the here so the badge has been created if we go to auto assign right now it has not been yet auto assigned to any of the vendors there because none is having the condition there that is number of order equals to five so if any of the uh, sellers is having the number of orders equal to five then this particular badge would be auto assigned to that particular one so to manually assign the badge you can go to manually assign and add the vendors from this particular section as well by tapping on the add vendor and uh, selecting the particular vendor and uh, then saving the particular thing or the badge there so that's how we can basically create uh, the badges under the badge list so here you can see the badge has been created test badge with the description the creation date i can edit it delete it or i can make it as active or disabled as per the requirement there so that was how we can create the badges and how we can set up the condition and according to the condition how the badges would be automatically assigned to the vendors there now we can go to the assigned badge as well 
if I go to the assign badge from here we'll be able to select this seller to whom we want to assign a badge uh, after selecting the seller from this particular section here uh, you have to tap here on the add badges and this brings up the complete list of badges and then you can select test badge for example add badge and close and then you can tap here on the assign badge now after tapping this up this test badge would be assigned to the particular window uh, so for example if I go to the window listing page here and now if I refresh the page here you can see that initially we had two badges to this uh, web cool store one now we are having three so here's our test badge as you can see the one that we had assigned to this particular seller there uh, a while ago now one more thing is there how to remove the badges if we have assigned it to a particular vendor there uh, we can do one thing we can go to vendors and vendors uh, we can select a particular vendor and then we can go to the badges tab and here we can find the complete list of badges that we have assigned to this particular uh, vendor or the ones that have automatically been assigned to this vendor there and from here we can tap on this gear icon and tap on the remove option thereafter right so this was the workflow of uh, how to uh, create the badges and how to assign the badges there now let me take you to the vendor account panel once again so let's go to the vendor account panel and uh, here uh, let me show you how the vendors would be able to add a banner uh, basically the one that i uh, talked about so uh, basically this add-on comes uh, with an additional feature of banner management at the vendor's end where the vendors can easily add the desired banner on the store so for that they'll have to go to vendors and vendors here they have to select the particular vendor and then they have to go to the add-ons tab and here they can uh, add a banner image as you can see here we have the vendor banners and badges section uh, under the uh, under the add-ons and under the add-ons we can select the particular banner image and we can set up the redirect url as well so whenever a customer taps on this particular banner image for the vendor there they'll be redirected to the particular url that you have set up here within this particular section itself so yes that was much about the cs card vendor badges and i hope it helped you out in understanding how it helps your uh, the admin to assign badges automatically to different vendors according to their performance and can assigned badges manually as well and how the bad assigned badges can be viewed at the front end so that the buyers can know about the accomplishments of the sellers there on the product page vendor listing page and the vendor store page as well if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding this particular plugin then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.